All right. This is the first movie reaction I am doing with this camera. First movie reaction I've done, and it's got to be honestly a couple of years. So if you guys constantly see me look at the camera, I'm just making sure I'm still recording because I have not recorded anything over 30 minutes in a very long time. So many people have recommended this to me, and with how good this show started and how good it's become, I have to oblige you guys. I have to watch it. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Bungo Stray Dogs, Dead Apple, the movie. It is weird saying that. Um, I was told by so many of you guys to watch this before we get into season three. So I'm assuming it has to do with certain backstories, maybe certain things that are going to give great context for season three. I honestly have no idea. A lot of anime movies are recap movies. So there are definitely some animes that have other movies that are non-canon, but I'm assuming this one's canon. I have no idea. I know I'm I just I have no idea what context to have for this movie so I just appreciate your guys recommendations like always so if you guys say I gotta watch it I gotta watch it so I'm gonna hop into this very excited like I said I have no idea what to expect so I say we just dive on in now this is gonna be a big one so if you guys want the full length uncut everything like that check out that patreon down below also early access if you're watching this on youtube it's we're already probably four episodes into season three so make sure you go check that out patreon's always in the description like always don't forget to subscribe click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch TikTok, twitter all at dapper darius much much appreciated let's hop into this bungo stray dogs the movie dead apple Let's do this. No other days in Yokohama Underground Society produce as many corpses as those 88 did. Many organizations were involved in that bloodbath. 88 days, the dragon head conflict. Talk about starting off with a bang, oh my lord. The night before its conclusion, okay. That looks like a... Oda, hey, my boy, long time knows. Oh, I don't want to pause it so early. Is this going to be the conflict in which we, Oda ends up taking in those orphan kids and finding out? Oh, because I remember they mentioned the conflict, like Desai was saying. These, oh, mm, okay, I'm already interested. I'm already intrigued. This is horrible. This is like a war zone. Damn, that's horrible. Parents <laughs> murdered right in front of this little baby. This is still a war zone. <laughs> Desai and Chuya's relationship will never cease to make me laugh. Oh my god, talk about starting crazy. An anti-gravity motorcycle? That's so dope. The double black. These guys are quite the combo. And they go. He goes into curse mark mode. <laughs> What's it called? Corruption, and then just lets loose. It's so crazy seeing <laughs> seeing Chuya like this. So those fodder outside, he didn't even have to use corruption, but now we're using corruption. Is this an opening for the movie? Or is this like the season three opening? No, it's just for the movie, Dead Apple. Oh, it's showing the characters and their abilities. I love it. Rampo. I love how each of them have their own little colors in the background. Oh, this is so dope. That was such a great moment. Also, that was such a great moment. Also, that was such a great moment. That was such a great moment right there. That was so dope. Oh, my Lord. I am hyped. It's probably Oda. Yep. He's a legend. Protect the orphans, Atsushi. Choose the side that's more beautiful. 
be on the side that saves people. I always wanted to go to Taiwan. That seems like the same ability as the guy Desai and Chuya confronted. I wonder why Desai is skipping out on this meeting. He could play a vital role in helping with information. Fire wielding gifted. Oh. Hard wielding gifted. Talented assassin. Imagine being that dangerous with cards. Jesus. Ice wielding one. That actually was one be one I would want. I love ice powers. Oh wait, these are the people. Oh, the people who are dead are the pe gifted people. I thought. Oh, interesting. So the special ops division requested that we investigate. So. Definitely the Fog is the same character who Desai and Chuya confronted. But it makes sense because Chuya was like, give me my friends back. And then he said they killed themselves. So this Fog is some sort of suicide inducing Fog. But I wonder what happened when Chuya and Desai confronted him. Because it looked like they were confronting the leader of that organization. And then Fyodor D, I still have issues pronouncing his name, was watching. The only reason I assume it was Fyodor is because he has like purple eyes and... I swear he had purple eyes at the end of season two. But I thought that it was the fog would come up, somebody would die, and it was due to, like, he could take powers and put them in the, but no, he was making these gifted people kill themselves. So that's very interesting. Very interesting. That's the dude. Shibusawa. And I love how Kyoka's over here in this meeting as well, helping out. Damn, look at how beautiful that purpley knight is. Dead Apple, the title of the movie. Because it's the title of the movie, Tanazaki, come on. Oh, back at the Lupin, it's been a minute. I need to go to... People told me this bar is actual... Hold on. I don't want to pause it too much during this movie. People told me the Lupin bar is actually real in Japan. I think it's in Japan. And if you go there telling them you're a fan of Bungo Stray Dogs, they will give you the same exact drink. I'm assuming Whiskey on the Rocks with a circular shaped ice cube like that. Like, that's actually really dope. I really love that detail. Especially because there's that level of realism in the show where all these guys are literary. Oh, no, it's for Oda. That's for Oda. I wouldn't either. I would love to have a conversation with both these guys. I want to go drinking with them. Very much so. Wonder what that pill is. I love how he gets a drink with him. Oh, why does he, why does he have the dead apple there as well? Ongo is here. I do love how he gets the drink for Oda in, in honor of his memory. Why? He did say it would be beautiful if it came to Yokohama, but why? Don't tell me Shibusawa was going to do it right now. And when he saw Shibusawa, he saw this door. Oh, this is not looking good. This is starting to look like the very beginning of this movie when Oda came up on just a war zone. But there's no bodies. Oh my god. What the hell happened here? Yeah, body exploding ability that That is The Wear Tiger. It's like a silhouetted tiger. Maybe this is the Wear Tiger. Maybe this is how the the gifted people commit suicide, their own powers turn against them. Kunikita. That's what I'm assuming. And then here comes Demon Snow. Yep, it really makes their powers turn against them. 
And I love how their powers look different. They're like silhouetted in this blueness. Man, with the silence in this ghost town and with the fog here, it makes this so much more tense and eerie. I love it. Oh, Kenji's out there. Oh, and he's going against like a fucking... It's like Zelda with Dark Link. This is like uh, Kingdom Hearts with fucking Shadow Sora. Imagine Tanizaki having to go against Light Snow. That's fucking so impossible to fight. Engage. Oh my god, Fukuzawa as well. The Osano, even if she beat her own fucking clone, it would just heal up. This is, and they don't have their powers. Their powers are out of, this is crazy. You got Shadow fucking Kunikita out there just making grenades. Also super dangerous, oh my god. But I love how it's just going to be a duo mission with these two. I love how she accompanies him like with everything. Uh, it's so dope. That is a gorgeous shot. This literally looks like the fucking. This literally looks like a Kingdom Hearts boss battle <laughs> where we, like where we'd find Organization Thirteen. Now does eyes rock in the white jacket? Theodore. Collaborator, huh? Ooh, speak of the devil. Yoka is battle ready. She is such a savage. Look at her go! Okay, I didn't even think of Octagawa. They always be put in the weirdest situations where they need to team up. And Octagua, without Rashomon, or going against Rashomon? Demonic armor Rashomon. Oh my god. Oh, we got... Oh my god. What are we going to do? Okay. Now, there's one thing we know the Port Mafia wants is to protect Yokohama, so I appreciate that. I'm so curious about that. I'm that's what I'm saying, but he did. That's a valid point. But that same room he was in when Chuya and Desai confronted him has gotten so much bigger. These are all abilities. Wow, it really is just like that. Once they die in their own power, he collects them. Oh, it was her mother's phone? Hey, it's sensitive information. Come on, Octagua. He doesn't want to talk about it, clearly. The, the color scheme with this fog and the silentness of the fucking ghost town makes this so much more eerie and tense. They, make, they do the color schemes... In this show so well it's crazy like the purpley nights the pinkness in certain dimensions you know gotta use the environment gotta use whatever we can to beat our power it's still not enough was that enough i know rashomon is cloth based no, that wasn't enough. Oh my god, that's horrifying. Oh, you're a little hot. Stuck onto the, stuck onto that grate. Go in for the finisher with the grenade. Okay, Octagua did it. Good shit. And now he's back. Power made for slaughter, yet she wants to use that to help others. That's such a nice thing that we're seeing her mother. She looks a lot like her. Shouts out Kyoko's mom. Damn. Shouts out to Odsushi, where the help with the cloth, just the fucking blunt part of it. Oh, 
That was touching. That was that was really well done. I like that. That was slick. That was slick. Ah, thank the Lord we have our powers back. Now that we know that that's a memento from her mother, it makes a lot more sense, even the pain it's caused her, why she would want to keep it, you know? Fyodor and Desire working together. See, I'm so curious about all this. So, it seemed as if it was Fyodor and Desire were betraying Shibusawa, but no, it was the other way around. Oh. There's no way Desire... There's no way. Was it a double double backstab? I'm so confused. This character who abused him at the orphanage has always been in his consciousness telling him not to do things, telling him to stop, holding him back in some cases, but he seems to be prevailing a lot more frequently now and saying, no, I'm going to keep continue doing it. And we're finally going to see what's beyond his door. Ignorance is bliss. Lost memories. Ooh. Oh, not the throat cut. Is that Atsushi? And is this an electric chair? So the ability was locked deep inside him. So that's why Shibusawa he had previous memories from. And he doesn't remember this at all. So that's why the guy was saying, once you go back, once you go through this, you're never going to be able to go back to not knowing. And it definitely looks like, uh, yep, yeah, that's Atsushi. And there's the power, that crystal. He says he has the power that makes all other gifteds jealous? Or what was that? And he said, no, you're not taking this power. I'm keeping this. Oh, where tiger. And he did die. I love how both the people looking in on this memory are like red and blue. Oh, I love the way they do that in the show. Ooh. <laughs> That's kind of a bar, but that is the name of his ability, Crime and Punishment. The master of the ability consuming a uh, fog. The dragon, right? Because it was called the Draconic Room. Okay. So if you use corruption, you are almost guaranteed to die. He did jump into the singularity, which is the the dragon now. If he says never, he's a badass. All right, I kind of got goosebumps. Two years of fucking legend. Oh my god, <laughs> this man is a menace. Jesus, what the fuck? This is turning into... <laughs> what the fuck? 
when I first met Chuya, did I ever think he would be fighting the conglomerate of hundreds of powers all at once into a sewer spirit Shenron dragon while he's fucking curse form fucking legend? What the no? This man's over here chucking buildings at him. And then he's just gonna exp- Oh my god, I like how the dragon blows up into fog though. With the music going on right now, this is such a banger. <laughs> that pill he took much earlier in the show. Maybe it was an antidote for the anesthetic? He did say he wanted to give Desai a good smackin'. How does he always 15 steps ahead? He did that with the Kyoka thing with, oh, like he's literally 45 steps ahead every time. I'm guessing that's Shibusawa's actual school because it has the claw marks from, from uh, Atsushi. So now it's gonna be a rematch of the century. Atsushi Wear Tiger versus fucking Megazord Demonic uh, fucking Curse Mode Shibusawa. Yeah, this is horrifying. Red Fog? Fuck that. That would be me. I'm skirting out of there. Oh, this is like worst case scenario. They're just gonna nuke the whole area. Octagua. Demonic armor straight into the good shit. This is gonna be the same team up from the end of season two, except even better. We got Kyoka here too. Oh my goodness gracious. Mori's just like, oh, this is fucking crazy. Mori against his own power? Is that Elise? Fukuzawa was still going against his. He's like, how about this? You kill mine, I'll kill yours. Look at that. That's actually dope. You guys are both having problems. Yup, I knew they couldn't. Yup. Woo! And now they got their powers back. So, does his power make Elise? What is his power? They're gonna need Atsushi for this. I'm glad he was able to uh, have that little inner inner monologue about that. Ooh. Ooh. Don't tell me we're going full Wear Tiger too. Are we going like 80-90% again like usual? Ooh, it is full Wear Tiger. Alright. We just needed that to get over here. Now we're back to like 90%. This is the normal opening music. I love when animes play opening music during a fight. Ooh. Ooh. Jesus Christ. This is the team up I've always wanted. Especially with the relationship that Atsushi has with the Were Tiger, very resembles, very much resembles her relationship with Demon Snow. She doesn't want to hate it, whereas he does want to hate it. But you know, they're both needed in certain situations. You know, it's very complicated. I love it. Yes, use it for good. Come on. Combine the powers, keep him stabilized. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this. This is fucking insane. This movie is crazy. 
Oh, this is the same thing that happened last time. Rip that crystal out of him, trying to take that power. That's me. Ooh, they're not separate beings. They're intertwined, baby. Grab that shit. Imagine having such a complicated relationship with your own power. I love it. Right back into that skull. Oh my god. And it's done. Atsushi is a fucking savage. That movie was a roller coaster, has my heart fucking racing. Who would have thought from episode one, meeting this kid by the river, starving, almost dying, to where we are now? Oh my, like I would have never thought. Good. Now see, there's a whole different area of this special op, you know, organization. I had, see, I bet you she's super influential, super powerful. The world building in this show is immaculate. I think Oda would have liked that sushi. That'd be dope if they could meet. Oh, Kunikita. Oh, the squad. Oh my god, this fucking movie. Oh my lord. And you guys are a legendary duo. Oh, you were an amazing opening act. Yeah, your job is crazy. Shouts out to Chuya. Shouts out to them. The dynamic duo. I like them just as much as I like Desai and Chuya. So many great duos in this. God damn. That movie was... Incredible, truthfully. Oh my lord. I don't even know what to talk about through that. That was literally a roller coaster. From the start of the dragon incident that, you know, made Oda the way he is, or the way he was, I should say, with the children. I love how they showed him rescuing one of the children, to going to Chuya and Desai's legendary double black squad and the, the work they're able to do with, you know, previewing Shibusawa over into the future conflicts now six years later it's crazy how it all tied together full circle even with stuff we've seen way back in the day you know we had ongo involved the one thing i will say i am somewhat confused on and maybe you guys can elaborate for me was shibusawa's reincarnation so he was obviously collecting powers or doing his typical fog thing he was the Russian, who was Fyodor, told him about the power that caused that, that is the envy of all other gifted, which is Atsushi. So he was trying to get it out of Atsushi, and then he saw the spark of life because Atsushi refused to die no matter what in that situation. Ended up killing him, but then how was he reincarnated? And then he was reincarnated with no memories of how he died. So he just continued uh his legacy but this time it was in turn in search of his memories that he had lost I'm, I'm just confused on that and then Fyodor who's a mastermind behind this whole thing Desai who's a double agent mastermind which he does all the damn time that's just Desai was you know trying to save the ADA trying to prevent this from going on which I don't want to say it's the special ops's fault but they were covering for Shibusawa for years because in case there was a gifted uprising, he would be one of the only people, the one only, only gifted who could stop that, which is crazy strong, but also crazy dangerous to just have him running free like that. The fighting with our our heroes and their gifted counterparts, how they literally look like Dark Sora and Dark Link, you know, from like Zelda and Kingdom Hearts, was super dope. I love how they had to be creative in terms of, you know, ending their powers and getting their powers back, uh, especially with uh, Fukuzawa and Mori. Mori's power seems to be just creating a lease. I'm very curious about that, but I I do love how the inner strife and conflict that some of them have with their power. Like 
Octagua was just kill. He just had to f figure out a way to kill Rashomon because it was super strong. But um, Kyoka had some definitely some deep seated issues with you know wanting to not hate Demon Snow, especially because of her mother who said, "Hey, I, even though this is a power made for slaughter, you want to use it to help people." So a very and and with that she wants to not hate her but it killed her parents so you kind of have to it's like very complicated and i really thoroughly enjoyed that same thing with atsushi i definitely need to know more about the orphanage situation in which he grew up in and that character with like the bowl cut who's constantly nagging at him and telling him he can't do things but he said when you go back and learn the memories once you once you open that door there is no going back to not knowing I'm, there has to be so much deeper information when it comes to that i need to know i need to know but fyodor scary as hell shibusawa scary as hell chuya fighting that dragon was amazing i loved every bit of that chuya is a legend and then he desai had it all planned out up into that point he took that pill which was an anesthetic for the uh fuck or which was a you guys know what I'm trying to say, which is an antidote for the anesthetic. And he knew Chuya would come in and punch him because he had, this is crazy. This, that fight was insane. And then we had Shibusawa versus the three legends, Octagawa, Kyoka, and Atsushi. Also insane fight. I love how it turned out to be like Rashomon enveloping them in this like black void and just Atsushi going absolutely ham. His relationship also with the Were Tiger has been insane. He's like, "Come on, or I'm leaving you behind." And then he was like, "That's not, that's not a gift. That's me. Like we're we're like not treating him like a separate beast that he's scared of and wants to avoid the whole time. You know, like he's a part of me, and we will be, we're in this together." Overall, A plus on the movie. Absolutely fantastic movie. I can totally see why you guys were spamming recommendations for that. Absolute banger of a movie. Only gets me more and more hype for season three. This show has become a favorite of mine absolutely thoroughly thoroughly enjoy it if you guys enjoyed it as well please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below um don't forget to subscribe check out that patreon if you guys want to dive into season three the full length of that movie for some reason if you want to rewatch it go check that out always available for you guys check out the social medias instagram twitch twitter tiktok all at dapper darius much much appreciated don't forget to drink some water be safe. Tell someone you love them out there. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace.